and welcome to another one of my December videos. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite winter candles. Now as all of you guys probably know already, I love candles, I'm obsessed with candles, and I thought it would be a good idea to let you guys know what are the candles that I love to buy most now in the season of winter, Christmas, kind of wintry smells, and let's jump into it. So I'm gonna start off with my favorites. I think that's stupid because I should leave it to the end, but whatever, I'm gonna start this video with what I love the most. I bought this limited edition. I've already bought three different ones. Um, as in, they come in packs of three. I prefer only two of them, not the full three, but what I did was I bought two for me, two for my mom, and two for someone else as a special Secret Santa gift, and I think they will love it. And basically, it's these ones from Castle Bell. Uh, it's a special edition, and I bought these two. One of them is Golden Woods, and the other one is Gingerbread. And they come with this adorable kind of Christmassy, Christmas packing, so you actually don't have to wrap it, because it, it comes already wrapped. They're 17 euros 50. Uh, they're not too expensive. I mean, for a candle, they're kind of pricey, but I think it's definitely worth it, because I love the smell of gingerbread. If you don't like gingerbread, then you probably won't like it, but I love gingerbread biscuits. And the other one is Golden Woods, and all I can say about this scent, Golden Woods, is that it does smell like a fireplace. I know that sounds weird, but if you like this, you kind of, like for example me, I don't have a fireplace, so this kind of makes me feel like I do have a fireplace. So if you don't have one, if you want the kind of fireplace feel, this is the candle for you. There are three of them. I didn't really like, there's one that is green, I don't remember the smell, but I didn't like the green one very much, so I just bought these two, the Golden Woods Gingerbread, and like I said, they're not too expensive, they're really, really pretty, so you don't have to wrap them yourself. And they do, um, these are the ones that I'm going to be offering, mine have already been um, burnt, used, uh, so I probably have to buy more for me, but um, I pretty much just like these when I get home, because I love the smell, either gingerbread or the golden woods one. Um, near my Christmas tree, I have a little table near the Christmas tree, and I just think it looks perfect um, with these lit. But yeah, it's a great gift idea if you do want to give a gift to someone and have them have their house smell like Christmas, these are perfect. The next one that is definitely, I think, the priciest candle that I got, um, yeah, it's pretty expensive, but it's definitely worth it because these are long-lasting candles, so you will get a bunch of usage, usage, from them. So I guess I feel like the, the price is worth it with the durability of the candle itself, but I just love this one by Max Benjamin, it's called Coffee and Cardamom. It's, oh my goodness, it's just amazing. It's, the, how can I describe this smell? It's definitely like, do you know at the end of Christmas lunch, when there's that, the, there's the smell of like dessert and then the food and you're, you're full and then there's Christmas carols on and you just, you feel so good. This is the kind of, hello fam. This is the kind of feeling that you get when you smell this by Max Benjamin. I just, I can't, I can't describe it anything else besides the end of Christmas lunch on the 25th. If you want to have that feeling, at least I get that feeling when I smell this, um, this scent burning. Oh my goodness. Again, my phone. It is such an amazing smell. I, I only found it out this year, so I guess I could be saying that these are my all-time favorites of 2016, so maybe next year I'll do another one of these videos, but um, if you do want that kind of a smell, this is perfect for you. Max Benjamin, Coffee and Cardamom, and it just, it's wonderful, and the packaging is really cute too. It kind of gives you the uh, the Christmas gift kind of, here you go, enjoy this candle kind of look. Does that make any sense to you? I didn't actually get to the price, it is 26 euros. I don't know if you can find this in all different countries, but um, I'm sure you can buy these online, and I would definitely say that this is pricey, but definitely worth it. For a completely different budget candle, I have this one. Uh, this is probably my third time buying this candle. It's called Golden Ashwood. Um, it does burn up to 60 hours, just like it says. Uh, it's from Primark. Uh, it's only three euros. I bought it three times already. I love this candle. This is actually a new one. I went to Primark the other day, and I bought a new one, so it's virgin. Uh, it is so good, and it is kind of a... Oh, I love this smell. I can't explain it. It's like, it's like an English... England... English. An English countryside, um, warm inside, freezing outside kind of smell. Does this ring any bells? It's a wonderful smell. Um, I definitely bought it many, many times. Uh, it's cheap and it does um, last exactly what it says, the 60 hours. Okay, I didn't obviously time it, but it's pretty much exactly that. Um, it lasted for many, many months for me, so I think I bought this a like, million times at Primark. And yeah, this is definitely a wintry kind of candle. It does have the smell of winter, at least to me. I love it. I love the packaging also. 
So, one of my favorites. Moving on to one that I've spoken about in my favorites. I have no idea which favorites, but this is um, one that I bought in America in Anthropology. And I've realized that I can buy it here in Portugal, so I will look for that. But it is a brand called Voluspa, and this smell is called Mocara. I've spoken about it before. This one is the kind of, I always have to like get it back to like winter or Christmas so that it makes sense in this video, but I can say that this one is those freezing mornings where you just want to be inside and nice and warm on Christmas day before anything, just before you open up the presents. It's kind of a, a nice, soft, elegant, pure smell. It's got definitely some vanilla in it. I like to say the ingredients. But it doesn't have the ingredients. This one is 13 euros 95. Um, again, as I said, oh, it's got coconut. Mm. This is one of my favorites for all year round. I put it in the winter favorites just because it is one of my favorite candles, but this one you can actually um, light the whole year round. It's a great scent for summer, winter, spring, autumn, perfect. And it's one of my all time favorite candles by Velaspa called Mokara. Love it. Delving into a Christmas looking candle, we have H&M's Cinnamon Scent. The packaging is adorable, and I feel like even if it didn't smell like Christmas, I'd buy it anyway, because it's got the Christmassy colors. It just needs green and some gold, and it would be perfect. It'd be a Christmas tree in a candle. But no, it's red. This is the most intense cinnamon scenting candle I have ever smelled in my life, but it's definitely worth it. Um, as I told you guys in another video that I did, I don't remember which one, but it's, um, I, keep, I, I told you guys that I buy the gingerbread scent by Zara. Um, but this year I didn't and I opted for this one by H&M Cinnamon because I wanted to try the different one um, and I felt like the, the Zara one that I did buy didn't last as long as I wanted it to and I've heard that the H&M uh, candles are really good. So I'm going to give this a try. Um, I can say that it's one of my favorites because of the, the fact that it's red. <laughs> so yeah, H&M favorite. And last but not least, we have these ones that I talked about in my Primark haul. They are amazing. I've showed you these before in the video and I didn't really know if they were good or not because I had just bought them but I have been burning these two babies together and I don't know what to say but their scents combined is just heaven. Again, like I said in the video, I can't tell you what uh, scents they are because they don't come in the packaging but I'm gonna smell them once again. Oh my god. It's like a meadow. This one's like a cookie. So it's like a cookie in a meadow. And these rapidly have become my Christmas addiction. These are on my nightstand, one on mine and one on Miguel's, and I just burn them together and they become like heaven in a scent. So I love these two candles and I feel like all of these scents that I talked to you guys about are all wintry, uh, Christmas kind of feel candles. Um, they're not very expensive. These ones are both um, three euros each, so I didn't really talk about too many expensive ones, only one, which was the Max. The Max Benjamin one was a little bit more pricey, but I feel like if you guys want to have a kind of Christmassy infused, you know, scent into your house, these are the go-to ones that I bought uh, this year. But let me know if I'm missing out on any scent or any candle that I should be buying or you think is more Christmassy or has more of a Christmas feel. I don't really like really sugary candles, so if I didn't talk about one that is too sugary, I'm sorry, but it's definitely not what I like. I like kind of more of a simplistic kind of smell, but at the same time makes you feel snugly inside. So there it is guys, these were my Christmas favorite candles, wintry candles that I have been um, lighting in the past, um, not days, I'm going to say weeks because I've been buying quite a few of them many times, actually a few of them repeatedly as I said in the beginning of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you get future notifications on my videos. If you haven't yet clicked this little bell that is beneath me, you should click it. That sounds so wrong. You should click the bell so that you can get future notifications on my videos. And as you guys already know, until tomorrow's video, big kiss and a merry, merry Christmas. Mwah.